Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to add this SVG in our HTML document. In the previous video, we have seen about the introduction of this vector graphics and also how to create the SVG file we have seen the little bit basic thing. So let uh, basic image we have created using the SVG. Now we have our SVG image that is created by our own self. And now we need to add this SVG in our HTML document. So how we can do it? Let's try to see in this video. SVG image adding in our HTML document can be done in three different ways. So let's try to see one way. The first way is to embed an SVG via an image element. So we can also SV embed the image, add the image using an image element. You just need to reference it in the source attribute as you would expect. You will need a height or width. So let's try to see that one. So if you go here, I am creating a new file with the name svg.html okay and here we will be having the html5 so what we need to do so we know that we have our svg file that is nothing but main.svg file we have created the code and this svg.main.svg file we need to add it in the html document so one way is we have learned that through an img so we can use the img okay and we can use the src attribute and directly you can give the path whatever the svg file you want you can give it if you want you can also mention the width or something like 60 sorry width is equal to 60 <clears throat> and also you can mention height is equal to 60 anything the 40 or 50 or anything now let's try to see the output if i try to open it in the in the live server so if you try to see you will be able to see this svg.html the image file and also it has been width and height also has been added now the benefit of this one is we can also add the alt image something like svg image okay and also the title tag also we can add it svg image now if you try to see the output when you hover it here when you hover it here the svg image you will be able to see it so this is how we will be adding the first method is through an image adding the svg image through the image tag has some pros and also has some advantages and also some disadvantages let's try to see what are the advantages and disadvantages so first the advantages are quick so adding the svg image is quick familiar image syntax we are we are very much familiar with img syntax with built-in text equivalent available with the, in the alt alt attribute so we can also have the facility to add the alt attribute also you can make the image into a hyperlink easily by nesting the image inside an element so if you want to give an anchor link hyperlink for this one so you can easily wrap it with an a link a element the svg image file can be cached by the browser resulting in faster loading times for any page that uses the image loaded in the future so when you use the svg image in the img img element the svg file will be cached by the browser so that if you want to use any time otherwise means so it will be loaded very easily so these are the pros advantage of this uh, adding the svg image in the img tag <coughs> now the cons you cannot manipulate the image with the javascript as you know that svg is a list of all the elements code we cannot manipulate it with the javascript if you want to control the svg content with the css you must include in inline styles in your svg code itself Sectional style choose in from the SVG file take no effect. So if you want to control the SVG content, so whatever the things we have added, rectangle, circle, these are all the tags we have added, right? If you want to control those with the CSS means, you must include that inline CSS in your SVG code only. So not here in the EMG tag. You cannot restyle the image with CSS pseudo classes. So we cannot restyle the uh, image with the pseudo classes. So another method of adding uh, this svg image is you can also add directly the svg code in the html so there are also some pros and cons so let's try to see this another method so if you go here this is our main.svg right so we have the code here and if you want you can also directly so i am commenting on this one so here if you want you can also directly copy and paste this svg code here so this is also the approved way only now if you try to see the output so we are able to see the svg image directly so this is also another method how to add the svg file or svg image in our html document so let's try to see the pros and cons for this one also so if you try to see here putting your svg inline saves the http request previously we have added in the img tag right so img tag means uh, src it will try to 
call that file file again from that so it will make a separate http call for that one to get the resource whereas in the svg file so we, there is no need to call the http request it will save the http request and therefore can reduce a little bit of your load time <coughs> you can assign classes and ids to the svg elements and style them with the css so now we are having these all the rectangle circle and all those things in your html now you can add the classes or rectangles classes or ids to this particular element and you can do the css if you want and the another one is another advantage is inline svging is the only approach that lets you use css interactions and css animations in your svg image you can make svg markup into an hyperlink by wrapping it in a element so you can also <coughs> convert the svg markup into an anchor link by wrapping it with a a element so these are the advantages now disadvantages are this method is only suitable if you are using the svg in only one place so if you are using this only svg in one place only this is whether is suitable for example if you want to add the same svg if you are using multiple times means so you are duplicating the code so that is the problem duplication makes for resource intensive maintenance extra svg code increases the size of your html file so right now you are copying the entire svg code and pasting it to your html so this will increase the size of your html file the browser cannot cache the inline svg so the browser cannot cache like a img tag so the browser cannot cache this inline svg as would cache regular image assets so pages that include the image will not load faster after the first page containing the image is loaded so this is the disadvantage so another method what we can do is so you can open the svg in your browser just like the web pages so just like how we can open the web pages using the iframe so we can also open the svg image using this another option also so we can also embed an svg document with an iframe so this one is also done but this is definitely not the best method to choose so let's try to see this another method also so the last method what we have seen is creating the uh, creating an iframe and adding the source for example let's say that i am having an iframe okay so here i can add an iframe the source is nothing but main.svg so you can add this main.svg and you can do it now if you try to see the output so still i am able to see the iframe so here this is the iframe now you can add also the svg image through the iframe so the, here instead of having the advantages so we will we'll be having disadvantages more rather than having the advantages so what are those disadvantages let's try to see iframes do not have a fallback mechanism as you see but browser only displays the fallback if the lack support from all iframes all together so iframes do not have a fallback mechanism for example if the svg image is not supported means so let's open this uh, png file or anything so fallback mechanism iframes do not support all these things he, whereas img will support using the src set attributes we'll try to learn when you are trying to learn deep in the img element <clears throat> moreover unless the svg and your current web page have the same origin you cannot use the javascript in your main web page so for example if you want to manipulate that svg file using the iframe means until and unless the iframe url iframe source url and also the main page web source url are of the same origin so that means same domain only then you can access through the javascript or otherwise we cannot use it so cross origin will come so these are the disadvantages of using the iframe i as in the svg in the iframe so th these are the three methods actually so adding img directly using the svg image as an img tag which we have seen it so here so this is using the img tag and the another one is directly copying this svg code and pasting it in our html document so this one means if you are using only one time means you can use this one the advantage of this one will be, will be it will be cached in the browser whereas this svg will not be cached and this is the last method which is not supported so which which is not supported which definitely we should not use it so that is nothing but adding this svg image in the iframe so these are the three ways how we can use the svg image or how we can show the svg image in the html document so hope you understood about this adding so showing this svg image in the html if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you